so okay. the next part of the discussion is which is lecture 21 realizing existence as coexistence at all levels so this is what we had discussed in the introductory workshop also so we have been discussing harmony at various levels we talked about harmony in the human being then we talked about harmony in the family then we talked about harmony in the society and we also talked about harmony in the nature now we'll talk about harmony in the existence and the process remains the same and we'll see that as the workshop goes along your self exploration gets deeper and deeper now we are getting more uh, clarity about various entities in the nature various uh, realities in the existence and you will also see that ultimately we have to verify on our own right on the basis of our natural acceptance unless i verify on the basis of my natural acceptance it mean it may only remain as a set of information which i may forget but if i am able to verify it i mean i am able to see it then it becomes a part of my right understanding and in that process of seeing i also have to validate experientially and when i go to validate experientially i behave with human being and then i am able to evaluate whether it is leading to mutual happiness or not so something that we are discussing right now we try to ensure justice in the human human relationship similarly we try to ensure preservation with the rest of nature whether it is leading to mutual prosperity or not so justice with human being and preservation with the rest of nature so now we are going to talk about uh, our role in the existence now existence means exist plus essence so whatever exists is existence summing it up all so exist means to be something that is there and essence if you see it is harmony mutual fulfillment so what is being said here as a proposal that the whole existence is in harmony if you look at the hindi word it is astitva asti plus twa asti means hai hona and twa means vyavastha innateness harmony so what is being proposed here is that existence is essentially in harmony only have to understand this now put in one word it is termed as coexistence so existence is coexistence and if you try to elaborate this then we are able to see that there are units in the nature there are various kinds of units and those units only we studied yesterday classified into four orders and these all units are submerged in space units are defined identified by the boundary and the limitedness one hand is raised let me just respond okay no <clears throat> so units are identified by the boundary the limitedness and they appear to be separate from each other in isolation from each other for example i am sitting here and the laptop is there in front of me these are two units i am a unit this laptop is a unit the laptop also has a boundary i also have a boundary my body also has a boundary and each one of us isn't it are bounded in space so they appear to be separate from each other in isolation from each other when we focus on units only we see the isolation the separateness the dividedness next bhaiya so we have to find out whether they are divided isolated or they are related so we are units every entity in the nature is a unit and it is limited in size it has a boundary but with the same boundary with the same limitedness of size are the units isolated or are they related so partly we have some inkling about it partly we can say that yes what would be there so the relationship is there now how the relationship is there is to be understood so we have seen that they are related then what is the basis of this relationship to understand this we have to understand the reality which remains undivided in these divided units and that is space and we need to understand space also so let me take okay i feel some hand is getting raised and then lowered bhaiya yeah, uh, keep the previous slide only yeah so we have to understand the space also so are you able to see that we need to understand the space you can respond in the chat box do you see that we have to understand the space also does it matter to us 
is it required to understand space okay nice we need to understand space so space is also a reality isn't it in the space only the units are there Yeah, next slide. So when we look at the existence, we are able to see that there are units and there is space. Space is something which is everywhere, isn't it? It is all pervading. It is unlimited. Can we see this? can we have the limit to the space can we have the and the shekhar ji is saying something if you do not understand what is space will not understand the relatedness okay <clears throat> so space is unlimited in size there is no limit to the space the space is there in this planet the space is there outside this planet the space is there everywhere isn't it there is space around me there is space inside me there is space around my body there is space inside my body the body is made up of so many organs tissues cells now inside every organ every tissue every cell there is space the cells are made up of molecules and atoms inside every atom every molecule there is again space so if you look at a single atom there is space inside and if you look at the all the celestial bodies the space everywhere isn't it and it does not have any kind of boundary it is unlimited it is all pervading because it is inside the unit it is on the boundary of the unit it is outside the unit also it is all pervading but if you look at the units the units are limited in size isn't it the units are limited in size now just try to find out whether you are limited in size or not what do you think you can respond in the chat box are you limited in size is there a limit to the size of the cell body is limited in size what mridula ji is saying how about the self okay some responses are coming as if uh, there is no limit to the size okay so we can see that the body has a limit to the size isn't it how about the self okay so if anyone would like to raise some question then i can respond to that okay dr minu mehta bhaiya i was wondering if self and space are same i am not saying that because bhaiya is ji bhaiya yeah so <clears throat> space is there everywhere space is all pervading and i am a conscious unit so i am not saying that i am space i am there in space that is fine but space is inside me also no yes space is inside me space is outside me space is there everywhere but i am not there everywhere okay yeah correct and this i is self na bhaiya yeah yeah i and self are the same okay dr karuna karan uh, good morning sir uh i think i just want to mean uh, what is uh, merging and submerging because uh, submerging means uh, one inside the other merging means mixing with other say the two words again merging and submerging submitting and submerging sir submerging that is uh, mixed with one another merging and submerging ah uh, Merging, merging, and submerging. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Acha, merging, submerging. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, the two are different. So I'll explain the meaning of submerging. 
merging means two units becoming one so that is not the case so you are there i am there i am not merging with you i am also okay. not merging with space i remain as a conscious uh -huh. unit in space yes sir then uh, coexistence means uh, some uh, mixing of like mindedness between individuals so that that may that may lead to coexistence that's what i mean is yeah so like mindedness is not coexistence i am not saying that coexistence means okay. space is there units are there in space and yes, units are coexisting with each other being in space how they are coexisting we are going to explore that okay thank you thank you mr shashikant uh, yes sir I, i was talking about the self so uh, self is a uh, individual perception of imagination and uh, uh, i think the perception of the space at large uh, is different so we can be a part of the overall space but there will be limited boundary to the imagination of the self so it no, is in limited saying, sense that is what i want to tell you yeah we are This not saying ji we are not saying that self is a perception self is a reality it is a conscious unit <laughs> Uh, it, it, it is in my imagination sir if it is a conscious unit then every one of us should simultaneously have the same feeling of space now it is in my domain my space i am able to see while in your domain you are able to see your self no that domain that you are referring to is not being referred to as a space here the space is a reality oh my god okay 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 Yeah. So you mean okay. to say uh, self is having boundary? So you, where are you right now? I I am uh, in a canteen. You are in a canteen. Okay, which part of the country? Uh, in Solapur, Maharashtra. In Solapur, and I am here in Noida. So you are there in Solapur. I am there in Noida. Isn't it? Yeah. So you are limited to that. <laughs> Please, I am limited to this place. In terms of body, even the self, who is speaking? Oh. Who is speaking? <laughs> my 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 content of. Uh... You are there in Solapur, no? You are not here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how you are. I am bounded time. by my body. Yeah. Yes. My my self is bounded by my body. I am also not saying that you are there with the body. Ah ah ah. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Deepa Nayar. Yeah, good morning, sir. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Actually, self and body are uh, two different units, and uh, these units are submerged in space. I would like to say that, and both the self and body are limited in size because self and body are coexisting, and uh, self for me, I am a coexistence of self and body, and. Uh, Uh, i'll say that the self is limited in space uh, size then only it can exist in my body i would like to say that so observe yourself basically the uh, way out would be to be a direct observer of the self so we have been talking about the self for a long time we have been also uh, interacting with the body we have been interacting with other human beings but we have to be clear about what self is what body is so the major issue if you see is to be clear about the existence of self so when i am able to see the self as it is then i am able to see how i coexist with the body i also see how i am there in space and being in space how i am active how, what i am doing how my activities are going on all those things we can observe so ultimately it boils down to <clears throat> setting up the priority within oneself for understanding the self the more we have the clarity about the self you can be clear about other entities in nature as well as space is it fine ma'am yes sir yes thank you sir mr shantanu good morning sir good morning everybody namaste bhai ji and the thing is that from my side uh, this is a big question because as a student of physics and the msc level when i came first time came to know the uh, mathematics behind the uh, origin say at that time it was a big bang theory 
the people say that time and space has been and matter has been created uh, all on a sudden but my question was to that time uh, to my teacher and professors that sir before beginning what was there hmm. now uh, from there uh, okay time space is there it's uh, started now then body came now thereafter uh, consciousness came when living beings life physical world and then human world everything consciousness now the question is sir in my view that we are trying to feel that consciousness is our because uh, some sort of uh, throughout this uh, repressor one and whatever is taught repressor two till now and prior to that uhv one that we feel that consciousness is within ours we human being but it might be so if we could explore uh, we till that uh, thought of that uh, means uh, ob objective world to this real world and this kind of things means non living to living cases then consciousness all these things but it might be so they are also in interconnected in their languages that till that we could not find out actually till that we not even realized ourselves actually the consciousness that self we realized not so how could we realize when so it's a going to be a big question so they are actually the things lies and it's a question from that student is still it is there it means how consciousness is generated from the non living means from atoms or molecules uh, configured in such a particular fashion give the birth of human being whereas the same where consciousness is there and and even no last time in the last day last day the last session fourth day for fourth session uh, when we are talking with you see, during interaction we have seen and found that it was uh, means at the um, at the when the, in the case of fetus some madam question that what is the question of fetus or what is going on uh, at the fourth month or so afterwards the consciousness starts growing this kind of uh, thing discussion was there means prior to that is only the self like that so means here lies means before that what is and i think we are searching it needs a exploration of kind of thing in my little view this much sir thank you all thank you sir okay Namaste. you said so many things so but let me respond deeply over all those issues so this bing bang theory has been defined or i hope all of us know that okay and that question is also pertinent that if something is started at some point of time then what was existing earlier okay so this is one part second thing the self is there as a conscious entity and it is a continuous entity so its being is not dependent on any physiochemical entity maybe the body or something else so it is very much there now at birth what happens the self coexists with the body and for that something that we had discussed yesterday so there is a particular, particular organ in the body <clears throat> with which it is able to communicate with the body and that is called as brain so the self did not get originated there the self was there and the self just associated with the body that is the meaning of birth so nice sir so many questions will be coming so many hands are also raised i will be taking up the questions one by one let me proceed a little bit here so we can see that all the units are limited in size be it a conscious unit or a material unit the space is unlimited it is all pervading it is inside the unit outside the unit it is everywhere looking at the units we can also see that every unit is an activity in itself and it is also active with other units for example this body is an activity in itself so many parts and sub parts are there in the body and uh, it's so active every organ is active every tissue is active every cell is active every atom is active similarly i am also active you are also active so the conscious unit is also active the material unit is also activity active and every unit is activity within one itself and it is active with other units looking at the space you can see that this is no activity there is no activity here it remains as it is going further we can see what is the meaning of submergence so every unit being in space is energized so this body is energized i am energized you are energized every physiochemical entity around me is energized being in space the space is there at the base and every unit is energized being in space similarly we can see that every unit is self organized 
being in space. So this body self-organized. The body, as I was mentioning, made up of so many parts and subparts, is working in a self-organized manner. I am also self-organized. You are also self-organized. You just see the moment we have the feeling of opposition, we feel unhappy. So from where are we getting this unhappiness? This is being self-organized. The moment I deviate from a natural acceptance, the moment I deviate from a natural acceptance, I am not in a happy state. I want to come out of that. So I am self-organized, being in space. Some question is there. What is the meaning of being energized? Yeah, so energized means the activity is there. So the body is energized as we have been discussing in our physiochemical world also. So the units are active and they have energy. Similarly, the conscious unit also has energy. So when I'm talking to you, I'm active with you and I have energy within. This is conscious energy. So the body has material energy. I have conscious energy. The material units have material energy. The conscious units have conscious energy. And every unit is energized. Every unit is self-organized. Similarly, you can see that every unit recognizes its relationship and fulfills the relationship with other units being in space. So through a space, I am able to recognize the relationship. Now, looking very closely, I can see that I am able to recognize my relationship with this body through space, isn't it? There is space between me and my body. I am not the body, I am with the body. Okay, the body is there in space, I am there in space, and through this space, I am recognizing the relationship with the body. And every atom and molecule of, in the body is recognizing the relationship with every other atom and molecule through space. And through space only, I am able to converse with you. I am able to relate to you. Isn't it? You are a human being, I am a human being. I am able to see that relationship being in space. So being in space, every unit recognizes the relationship and fulfills it with other units in the, in the existence being in space. Now, these three things combined together is called as submergence. <laughs> Gita is saying, if no space, there is no question as such. So we have to accept the existence as it is. Space is there, units are there, existence is there. There is no question of something being not there. So these three things, being energized, being self-organized and recognizing the relationship and fulfilling is together called as submergence. Let me take a few questions here. Dr. Sakshi. Ji, namaste, bhaiya. Namaste, ji. Uh, bhaiya, I just want to ask a question which a student has asked me and I was not able to answer that. Since beginning, we are saying that human being is the coexistence of I and body. The question asked by the student was ki in our Hindi, Hindu uh, spiritualism, we study that Atma Aj Amar hai. Can we relate this I with the Atma? Can we say that it is Amar? I was not able to answer the student for that. Can you please clarify it? Yeah, so it is of course Amar. Amar means that it is continuous. It's uh, it remains as it is. Its constitution does not change. So it is, of course, there uh, as an Amar unit, as a continuous unit, the self. Now, when you say Atma, so the word Atma has been used in various ways. So one use of the word Atma is when it is equated to the self. So if the self is called as Atma, that is fine. Another okay. usage of the word Atma is to relate to the domain of right understanding block b1 something that we are referring to on day two where we have yes. the potential to know that is also termed as atma another reference of the word atma is the activity of realization where i have the realization of coexistence in existence that is submergence of nature in space that is the completion of right understanding in the self so the word atma has been used in these three ways so uh, depending upon what is being referred to. So that's why we are not using the word Atma because we want you to look afresh into the reality. Otherwise, many times so happens you know, that if you use a word that has been in common use, then at the level of thought, you create what is being said to what is there as a prevalent notion without verifying it. So that's why we have been using the word self or I 
so that we are able to see the reality and then we can make utilization of all that has been said across the ages in the literature what is being referred to but ji at the level of self we have to be clear what the reality is ji 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 thank you vya thank you nice ji uh, dr shakti prakash professor nachiketa ji one thing uh, this this self is also a unit so hmm. by definition a unit is limited in size and hmm. two units uh, must be separated by boundaries now body as a unit is very clearly understood it has a boundary even the organs have boundaries so and uh, whenever something is finite and limited in size you can measure it it has a length breadth height like this and but uh, if self is a unit where does it uh, stay remain and what is the boundary that separates this self from the body so self is there with the body and it is taking care of the entire body so the whole expanse of the body if you see the self is also available there and where the body is not there i do not require to be there so i am there with the body i am taking care of the whole body no where am i residing then because i must be separate because if i am a unit and i am limited in size then i must be separate from the body then where do, where, where where am i staying in the body so two things here so uh the conscious unit that is self and the material unit can be at the same point in space because the two are different units different kinds of units no so i am there with the body it's not that i have to be somewhere where the body is not there not that case i am there with the body i am a conscious unit body is a material unit and we are there at the same point in space same point in space both of us will stay yes if both of us will stay at the same point then how can we be two different things yeah because i am conscious and the body is material so the two have different activities different needs different so responses yeah, no no if i am conscious uh, then how am i limited how am i finite because if i am a unit then i am limited i am finite and uh, again you are telling that uh, i am continuous um uh, so that uh, 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 that looks uh, contradictory no, no contradiction here so i am conscious body is material and in space we are there at the same point what is wrong with this see we are used to observe only the physiochemical units so we think in that manner but when you go to observe the conscious unit you are able to have understanding about a completely different thing and then you are able to see how the two are coexisting fine sir uh, maybe uh, let me explore okay yeah, thank you <laughs> so these three things combined together we are calling as convergence being in a jive in space being self organized in space recognizing the relationship and fulfilling the relationship with with every other unit being in space now going further we can see the whole existence so units are there which are submerged in space every unit is limited in size be it a conscious unit or a material unit the space is unlimited all pervading now every unit is activity and active the space is no activity this is something that we discussed now if you look at all the units they are only of two types material units and consciousness units material units have the activity of recognizing and fulfilling for example we studied the body we studied all the all the physiochemical units while studying the nature the consciousness units that is the self have the activity of knowing assuming recognizing and fulfilling so presently the knowing is not activated fully but we are working in the domain of assuming recognizing and fulfilling and we are trying to activate knowing so these four activities are there in the consciousness units now if you look at the material units where only activity of recognizing and fulfilling is there it is temporary temporary means its constitution changes so they, that gets uh, formed and deformed that kind of activity is there in the material units here in the consciousness unit there is no formation deform deformation as such 
it is a continuous unit and it remains as it is whether with the body or without the body if you look at the space it is ever ever means it is unbounded in time and space so if you look at the material units it is bounded in time and bounded in space so bounded in space means limited in size bounded in in time means its constitution changes after certain period of time if you look at the consciousness unit it is bounded in space but unbounded in time continuous it is unbounded in time so bounded in space but unbounded in time and space is ever unbounded in time as well as space and we have to understand these three realities only so the existence may look so vast so big but ultimately if you try to look at the reality these are the three realities i have to understand the space i have to understand we have previous slide Raghavan Bia, previous slide. I have to understand the space. I have to understand the consciousness, and I have to understand the material. That's all. So, by understanding these three realities, we can understand the whole existence. Is that fine? Any question so far? Miss Gurleen. uh so so if we have to put it we say that the size of the self would be limited but the activities are continuous yes or we say the size is also unlimited of the self so nothing like saying or not saying you observe so let's say you have a body isn't it right sir now why will you try to exist somewhere where the body is not there right okay <laughs> but uh, like where, what we talk about that the self is growing i mean you know not literally but we say that uh, there is like the knowledge and everything so that would uh, we could term it as an activity yes yes that not is the activity. size right so oh, okay. yeah okay thank you yes. jay prakash ji uh, namaste ji uh, now uh, we are saying unit, units of the existence um are submerged in space then uh, it uh, then also uh, uh, it is assim yeah uh, unlimited then why it is saying like uh, uh, shunya hello kumar bhaiya you are mute uh, sir bhaiya is connecting there is some other issue kindly wait Kumar, dear, you are muted now. Dear Prakash sir, kindly wait. We are connecting now. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, can you say it again? Uh, yes, sir. Um, the units of existence are submerged in space, mm -hmm. and it's uh, it is unlimited. I say it's un unlimited. Then why we are uh, saying space to um, shunya? Because it is kriya shunya. Because it is no activity. Uh, so the all the units are submerged in space now. Yeah. So they are submerged in space. All the units are active. Space being no activity. Okay. Space is there at the base. Okay. 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 So uh, let me say one thing here that presently we are used to only talk about the material things, observe the material things, and there also we are trying to observe the material things through sensation. There is no direct observation. So, for example, if I am seeing something in front of me, so the image of that particular thing is being formed on my. <laughs> retina of my eyes on the retina of my eyes from there i am getting the information right okay 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 from there i am getting the information so my uh, awareness is limited to the material entities where the activity of recognizing and fulfilling there from there we try to draw your attention to the consciousness activities 
so partly we are aware because we say that yes i do think i do analyze i do have desires and so on but as a reality what it is we are not able to observe so one task is to move from or to add i'll say if not move to add the observation of the consciousness in your observation so presently we have been trying to observe only the material entity we also have to observe the consciousness and another thing to be added here in our observation is to observe the space that will take time that may take time but only thing is that we have to be aware that yes these realities are there my uh, observation so far has been limited to material things and they are also getting some sensation about the material things and trying to derive some conclusion about the material things the knowing part is still due and the knowing part is also due uh, in terms of consciousness the knowing part is also due in terms of space so this is something that we have to accomplish this is something that is a doable task for each one of us yeah Uh, next, uh, Arpi Bia, can we go to the next slide? Bia, can I ask a question? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, Bia. So as I understand, space is like a blank paper, and we are all small outline objects which are material, and with some of these material objects, consciousness is attached. See, putting any kind of simile. will uh, also create some kind of conditioning so in place of putting some simile here try mm-hmm. to observe it as it is okay and and bhaiya when we go to sleep or when we are dreaming where does the self go if it does not leave the body nay who dreams self so you are there why is it required to go somewhere oh, oh. okay okay now looking at the whole existence we can have a look at it so units are there which are limited in size each of the units is activity in itself and active with other units every unit is self organized space is unlimited space is no activity now being in space every unit is self organized energized and recognizing the relationship with other units and fulfilling it now the units are of two kinds material units and consciousness units all the material units are temporary as i mentioned and the consciousness units are continuous now the material units only have the activity of recognizing and fulfilling the consciousness units have the activity of knowing assuming recognizing and fulfilling now the material units can be put in two orders physical order and bio order the smallest unit of the physical order is atom which combine to make molecule and then the molecules combine to make molecular structure and these molecular structures are of two kinds the lump and the fluid so lump retains its shape and size the fluid flows now the fluids go to make the plant cell the small the cell which is the smallest unit of the bio order now the cells with a proper uh, formation and deformation make a plant these cells only with another kind of formation deformation make an animal body and these cells only with another kind of formation and deformation make a human body the animal body when it coexists with the cells is termed as human order uh, sorry animal order the animal body when it coexists with the self is termed as animal order the human body when it coexists with the self is termed as human order in the human order we have the potential for right understanding and right feeling which is the knowledge part and that gets completed when we have the right understanding uh, being reflected in our conduct and that gets completed as conduct so the activity completeness takes place as well as the conduct completeness takes place in the self of the human being and this is actually development which is not cyclic which is linear so once accomplished it remains so if i am able to ensure right understanding right feeling in me it will remain with me forever isn't it the completeness of conduct that takes place in me will, will remain with me forever and here if you see on the left hand side there is cyclicality so these uh, uh, structures that get formed in the physical order or bio order can go back to the previous state for example you make a building the maybe uh, the earthquake comes and the building goes back to the same state earlier as it was there earlier similarly the human body goes back to the soil the animal body goes back to the soil the plants go back to the soil so there is a cyclicality involved here but there is no cyclicality here in the development of the self 
and that's how it is very important that you work for it because this is what is going to be accomplished this is what is going to remain continue and this is how it is important yeah uh aap hi bhaiya isko aage badha de so if you look at the whole existence this is already in harmony the whole existence is already in harmony and only this part is to develop only this part is remaining the development of the self has to be accomplished and it has to happen in the self by the self so whatever you are getting from me is an information is a proposal for you to explore investigate validate but ultimately the development has to take place inside you isn't it yeah next now something that we were talking earlier on the second day so this is the development that is desirable so if you expand the whole thing for the human order in the self this is something to be observed so uh, if you look at the activities of self these are 10 activities the lower five activities are the activities in the dimension of thought the top five activities are in the dimension of realization that is right understanding and each one of us essentially has to work for the development of block b1 block b2 activities are already there but they are not self organized they are not organized they are not in harmony because the activities in the block b1 have not been activated now once activated they will be in harmony and when they are in harmony the behavior work and participation is also going to be harm in harmony and then it will ensure mutual happiness mutual prosperity and fulfillment of the human goal and this is the development that is desirable so attending the workshop is one thing but at the core you have to evaluate for yourself whether you are able to work for this kind of development or not is that clear yeah next bhaiya so summing up uh, existence is in the form of coexistence it is ever present so the whole thing can be put in one word that is coexistence and that essentially means that units are submerged in space every unit in the existence is related with every other unit in existence in a mutually fulfilling manner synergy is intrinsic to existence harmony is inherent in the existence you do not have to create it you do not have to construct it and only thing that we need to do is to uh, realize this coexistence this harmony this order and for this all that we need to do is to understand the inherent harmony the coexistence in the existence and to live accordingly one thing that we can note is that there is every provision in the existence for living in coexistence now just see for right understanding what is essentially required is to pay attention to set a right priority for this understanding of the reality yeah next bhaiya so is nature existence self organized or is it chaos so i think we have talked about this so the whole nature and existence is self organized now if you look at the chaos theory it essentially says that if you try to measure any change in the physiochemical world okay so you are not able to actually measure it and the effect that it can have could be chaotic so that is fine that may happen in your measurement that is the limitedness of your measurement is the struggle inherent in the nature of existence or is there is coexistence so something that we already talked about there is coexistence if i am not able to understand the coexistence i am not able to understand the harmony then looking at the activities in the nature we sometimes are by assuming that there is struggle in the nature which is not the case the existence is so big unlimited and human being is so small so how can you understand the whole existence so this is something that we talked about so we have to understand three realities material reality conscious reality and the space which is ever these three realities have to be understood and that we can very much understand and everything else is a manifestation of these three realities how can we say that unity is self organized by virtue of coexistence so for that we have to realize the coexistence i have to understand myself i have to see what this natural acceptance is i have to see how the activities in the domain of realization get activated for that i have to work on myself i just take one question there could be lot many more questions somebody who has not asked so far okay uh, dr anderson dr pavai yes sir yes sir see if we observe uh, the picture uh, in the previous slide without that right understanding humans and animals are uh, 
the same human body plus consciousness is uh, human order animal body plus consciousness is animal order only this uh, right understanding uh, is differentiating us from uh, the animal order is it right yes so we have the potential to understand which is not there in the self of the animal that is all yes nice nice ma'am so i think we have done with it uh, we'll go to lecture 22 bhaiya please uh, go to the next slide next slide uh, okay yeah i think we are done next slide fine fine let me share the slide from this side then i will be able to manage it better may i am sharing the slide from my side sure yeah sure i hope it is visible yes it's visible okay kindly do it in uh, slide so acha not there yes yes f5 now i hope it is there yes there now it's fine okay so now we can have a holistic perception of the harmony in the existence so this is something that we already discussed nature being submerged in space space being all pervading and this coexistence being ever present we also talked about this we also saw how development has to take place in the self now we can see that happiness is an indicator a feedback that we have understood harmony and we live in harmony at all the levels of our being and unhappiness is an indicator a feedback that we have not understood harmony and do not live in harmony at one or more of these levels so essentially this unhappiness is an indicator or happiness is also an indicator the basic issue is the understanding of the reality realization of coexistence isn't it so our role is to make effort for excellence to understand harmony and live in harmony which can ensure continuous happiness at all levels of our being so you can take on reflection here can you put the reflection so i can see that there is need for understanding existence as coexistence you can reflect over it so what is the pro program for human being so existence is coexistence human being is by virtue of coexistence embedded in coexistence all that human being needs to do is to understand the coexistence and to live in coexistence so the essence of all that we have talked so far is coexistence we are all embedded in coexistence space is there nature is there nature is submerged in space we are a part of the nature and our role is just to understand this we do not have to create coexistence we do not have to invent something in terms of this right understanding we just have to understand the reality as it is so all that we have to do is to understand coexistence and to live in coexistence so the program for human being if you look at it then we have two important things to do the first one is to understand the coexistence and that essentially means two things to understand the coexistence and to ensure the feeling and thought of coexistence this understanding of coexistence is termed as knowledge and the ensuring of feeling and thought of coexistence is termed as resolution now when you go to live with coexistence then we have to live in coexistence with human beings from family to the world family and that essentially is working for undivided society similarly we have to live in coexistence in nature from family order to world family order and that is working for universal human order so two parts on in this understanding uh, one is to understand the coexistence and the second thing is to understand the, to ensure the feeling and thought of coexistence now the first thing has to take place in block b1 the second thing has to take place in the block b2 in the dimension of thought 
the first one has to take place in the dimension of realization or that is dimension of right understanding now when it comes to living we need to ensure coexistence with human beings and we need to ensure the coexistence with the rest of nature so when i am able to ensure my coexistence with the human being i am participating in the undivided society and when i am doing this with the whole nature i am participating in the universal human order so this is the whole program that we have to accomplish so by this two being ensured by human beings the result will be undivided society and universal human order on earth in which harmony and peace are very natural outcomes yes come hands are is mrs vinita mrs vinita dr seema patel yes sir uh sir i'm still a little stuck up with two questions and i'm just uh, not able to resolve in that uh i am uh, the two questions i have uh, in my mind is uh, where the chaitanya or the self consciousness where is it spaced in the brain or the pranavayu and the other question that i am still uh, contemplating on is that after leaving the body does the consciousness have the same properties of knowing assuming recognizing and fulfilling okay so regarding the first part observe yourself so you are there with the body okay and the body has so many parts and sub parts so which part would like to be with and which part would like to leave think over it so you like to be there with the whole body isn't it mm -hmm. you are interacting with the body through the brain but you are there throughout mm -hmm. the body isn't it now the second mm -hmm. you see now the way you are interacting with me with the body that may not be possible without the body but the activities which are going on in you okay they will continue mm -hmm. okay and and so the other one after leaving the body does the consciousness have this continue to have the same properties of knowing assuming recognizing and fulfilling uh, so uh, activities are there in the self okay being with the body or not with the body are two different things now you just find out how you are able to know right now so through self exploration and for self exploration the way you are utilizing the body right now will you be able to do that without the body so we are not able to take the proposal from outside we are not able to validate in our experience without the body so the body is of course an instrument for us but i am at the center i am central to the existence as a human being so study your activities right now what is going on in you what is going on in the body what is going on in coexistence with the body and then you will be clear about this okay sir i'll explore further nice nice ma'am so let me take another reflection okay so in the previous reflection so everybody is saying that yes i can see that there is a need now through the sessions i have a better clarity of uh, the meaning of coexistence you can respond to this in the meantime let me proceed now if you look at the deluded self something that we discussed on the second day so the activities in block b1 are dormant they are not active only the activities in the block b2 are there and they are also preconditioned or they are dictated by sensation and the whole behavior work and participation is on this basis and then you have the unguided senses health and profit you have the unguided sensation but when we are able to see the whole reality as it is i am able to realize the coexistence authenticate it understand the harmony in the nature and be determined to live accordingly and then i am able to contemplate my participation in the larger order in entirety then this block b2 gets organized then this block b2 gets in harmony because there is no dictation of any preconditioning or sensation here but rather now i am getting the right understanding within me and through that my activities are self organized and then you know, this kind of state is something which can be called as the pure self the realization of the coexistence and its expression if you look at the universal human order this is something that we had discussed on day 2 we are just trying to recap it so this realization within of coexistence gets validated in experience 
in our expression in terms of universal human order so on one end we need to realize the coexistence within and on the other end we need to participate in the universal human order and we are somewhere in between so here in the activities in block b2 we are partly active partly not active because maybe the imaging is also not taking place in a complete manner because the right understanding is not there and we are trying to activate the activities in block b1 and that's how our participation is also limited not ensuring harmony every moment so we are somewhere in between but the way we have to move further we have to work for realization within and we have to work for expression outside in terms of universal human order and this is the development of the self this is what we all need to work for only that here is a proposal for you which can give a clarity of what your effort has to be but you have to work for this and this is something that we said earlier also just to reiterate the whole thing so this development has to take place in the self isn't it <clears throat> now the role of human being is to realize this coexistence and ensure the universal human order and a transformation has to take place now if you see when the self is deluded then the self is working for inhuman society making the society as a battlefield or crowd and then there are so many uh, preconditioned desires right efforts and then there is problem in the relationship there is problem with the rest of nature and we are working with obsession but we have to transform from transform from this state to the pure state where i can have the right understanding in completeness and then i am able to participate for a harmonious society and this will go from generation to generation so if i am able to ensure this in me then i am able to work for a society which can have harmony in continuity and then that will uh, transfer the right understanding and right feeling to the next generation and this will become a tradition a human tradition generation by generation so we need to work for societal transformation but that is possible only through personal transformation if you try to leave out the personal transformation and work only for societal transformation then that will not work and we can see that there may be many people who are working for transforming the society but they are not ready to transform themselves and that's how after a certain period of time we get fed up we get uh, full with complaints for each other and we don't land up anywhere so this development of the self is at the core unless i am able to develop the self my role in the society is not going to be fruitful and it can never be a tradition of happiness and prosperity so i can take another reflection here so nice so i can see that only the self has to develop in the whole existence what do you think reflect on this now summing up the whole thing so if you look at different levels so at the level of existence we have coexistence as a relationship and the potential is there in the human being to realize this coexistence and this coexistence is the base of all the values all other values are merely expression of coexistence in the nature we can see that there is mutual fulfillment and thus there is harmony and relationship and there is potential in us each one of us to be in harmony at the level of society the four goals that we have are again an expression of the coexistence so right understanding essentially means to realize the coexistence right feeling and means to have the feeling based on coexistence prosperity means to fulfill the coexistence of self and body fearlessness means to fulfill the coexistence of one self and another and coexistence is there so we talked about the human human relationship and we saw that there is potential through participation of individuals and families in various societal systems then we have the family and we have the feeling and thought of coexistence so we have the feelings of trust respect and love and these are all again expression of coexistence itself so we talk about the human human relationship and how the fulfillment can lead to mutual happiness we also talked about coexistence of self and body and we talked about the self and body relationship and we also saw that there is potential for the feeling of self regulation in each one of us now going about continuous happiness there are four words i will briefly explain these four words so bliss means to realize the coexistence and have the understanding of harmony this is the state of bliss when i have this understanding of harmony within then my desires get definite this is called as satisfaction when my desires get definite then i have definiteness of thoughts this is called as peace 
and when i have the definiteness of thought when i have definiteness of expectation this is called as happiness so when we say continuous happiness it includes all the four happiness peace satisfaction and bliss and there is a will to live with continuous happiness in the self of the human being and we have the potential to understand the whole reality as it is and to work accordingly to live accordingly so this is all that we have discussed so far and these are the universal human values and these all values are merely an expression of coexistence so i'll take another reflection so i can see that self has been developed uh, okay almost all of you are saying that yes that is true let me take another reflection here yeah there is no reflection for this slide <laughs> huh Ah, it is not a reflection for this slide. It is not going to the next reflection. Anyway, so with this we can understand the dynamics of the universal human order. See, if human conduct is ensured, then is to be ensured. Then we have to work for human education. So education that ensures the development of the competence to live with definite human conduct. So if human education will ensure human conduct. with human conduct we will have the human constitution for example the national education policy has been formed which gives a good scope for working for human values in a similar manner we can have the constitution completely based on the right understanding right feeling and when we have this then we can work for universal human order where the uh, entire society is able to work for the human goal isn't it and this is the entry point education is the entry point when we are able to work on education meaningfully then we are able to ensure human conduct in the society through that we are able to work for human constitution at the level of society and then we are able to work for harmony with all the entities in nature and that is called as universal human order and this universal human order will further uh, substantiate the human education process in the society and that will form the human tradition and this is the entry point and that's how we are working so sincerely for education because this is the point where we can enter to ensure human tradition so there is a practice session after lecture 22 so observe yourself are you in this space are you in this space are you getting energy from the body is your energy dependent on your body when your body is sick does your energy to think also diminish are you energized being in space are you being dictated by the body are you self organized in space so <laughs> the students may not be able to respond to all these questions in one go but at least we can raise these issues because these are pertinent issues and the students have to observe the reality as a pure observer innately you have a natural acceptance for coexistence harmony and relationship to understand and live in coexistence harmony and relationship is the scope of your full potential and your possibility as a human being find out if that is the case for you or not and then the students can be asked to make a chart for the whole existence and list down different courses of studies and relate them to different realities in the existence such as plants human mind animals etc etc so for example physics it is something to do with the material units chemistry to do with the material units okay similarly biology material units and you are studying the bio order isn't it humanities you are dealing with human being geology you are talking about animals so this way the students are able to relate the various courses that they are studying be it engineering design pharmacy management they are able to relate to the whole existence and the expected outcome is that the students are able to obtain a holistic vision about the existence and they are able to see that it is in the form of coexistence rather than a chaos because somehow uh, the students have a uh, assumption nowadays that everything is uncertain because there is uncertain principle and the whole world is a chaos and so many things but once they are able to understand the reality as it is then they are able to evaluate these three conditioning and then they are able to see that every unit is energized self organized and is participating with other units in an orderly manner for mutual fulfillment it is only the human being without right understanding that is violating this underlying coexistence and they are able to appreciate the need to understand the coexistence in the existence 
so if this course enables the students to pay attention to these realities that is also a big achievement they may not be able to understand the whole thing in a single course as we are also trying to understand and we are going, moving step by step so they are able to appreciate the need for this and they are also able to contemplate upon the reality to a large extent and there could be some effect you so when i start paying attention to this depth i lose control over the outer world how to balance it there is some limitation of time so i will not uh, open up the question for discussion yeah so basically it's not the issue of controlling the world or losing the control over the outer world it is the competence to relate to the outer world rightly so i am able to contemplate upon the relationship with human being and the rest of nature so if i was dictating dominating over others then that will get evaluated and if i was living a life of a wretchedness that will also get evaluated so there is no question of balancing rather it is being able to relate rightly to the whole world what is living in the present now if you see the coexistence is ever present so essentially living in the present means observing the ever present when you are able to observe the ever present you live in the present so that namaste bhaiya okay so now it is time for break but we can have some questions here some discussion over the questions here some hands were raised mr ranjan kumar mr ranjan kumar dr minu mehta ji of ji sir we have said that uh, there has been a development from the physical world to the human world uh, and we have said that there is uh, self in animal order and human order but not in the physical in the bio order so where this uh, self comes from and uh, uh, where it goes if when we are dead and uh, if there was uh, self always then uh, why has there been a degradation in human values because your voice got cut hello am i audible bhaiya ji ji bhaiya loud ho gaya sir ke sir uh, maybe some network issue sir do you get my question sir yeah yeah so uh, that we can discuss <laughs> maybe when we come to the high level workshop we'll discuss that at length but let me say a few things here for the sir uh, is there am i audible sir did you yeah, get yeah, my question yeah yeah you're audible should i repeat no i got your question are you able to hear me are you able to hear me i think you are not able to hear but let me respond briefly to that so the self is there in space whether with the body or without the body kumar sir are you here ji ji nahi you are not able to hear me but i am able to hear you sarkish bhai am i audible yes bhai okay. ranjan sir are we able to reach to you sir may he is not able, able, to, able to hear everything if someone is speaking then sir we request you to kindly uh, rejoin the meeting once it may help in better connectivity then sir if we are getting our voice kindly rejoin the meeting okay dr minu mehta ji bhaiya bhaiya i wanted to clarify a doubt if self is consciousness then Uh, bhaiya are there so many small small consciousness units in the space or there is one very big consciousness and we are all sub parts of that so what we are saying here and that is something that we can observe also that we are different consciousness units you are a unit i am a unit ji and we are all submerged in space ji yeah this is what is being said sir i am asking is there a very bigger unit of which we are subsets so my first part of response says that it is no it is not like that okay so we are not subsets we are not sub units of a bigger unit we are units okay. and is also said no that <clears throat> the unit uh, is continuous so it remains as it is it does not get combined with something or get dissociated from something 
ओके सर ओके डॉक्टर भुवनेश्वरी विनय चिद्री जी गुड मॉर्निंग जी गुड मॉर्निंग वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द सेल्फ इन स्पेस वी से दैट वी कैन सी द एक्टिविटी ऑफ सेल्फ when we have we are coexisting with the body but uh, when in space when we are not coexisting with the body uh, how do we understand that uh, the activities are there in the self even when uh, there is no body because we cannot see that so how to understand that with a little bit uh, uh, clarity i want to understand in this case so presently also if you see you are active within and it's not that every activity of yours is dependent on the body there is some information that you are taking from the body for which you are doing something within you in the domain of imagination but there are so many things going on in you where you don't require the body at all so in our activities we can observe that i am active within me the object of imagination could be something which is uh, dependent on the information that i get from the body or it may not be dependent also so when you are looking at your natural acceptance there is no role of the body you are looking within yourself at your natural acceptance isn't it yeah yeah i got body it body has a very limited role yeah, even even uh, now when we are in body we are also in the space so yeah that, i am presently yeah. also in space you are presently in space and yes, yes, yes. we are coexisting with the body and it's not that the complete imagination uh the content of it is based yes. on body not that yes yes got it some information yeah from yeah, the body and yes yes sir got it dr divya mrs rupali priya am i audible am i audible audible yes yeah uh, so uh, when we say that self is limited because it is associated with so myself is associated with my body yourself is associated with your body so wherever we are our self is there so that way self is limited but when i think uh, you know i'm sitting here and i'm thinking of my sister who is at uh, let's say uh, chennai or delhi so uh, in the, uh, you know while talking we say that her body is here but her mind has reached uh, to chennai something like that so that way self has no limitation no self can think of anything it can think in terms of space also about anything in terms of time also because when i uh, sometimes i'm thinking about things that happened in the past sometimes i'm imagine about the future so that way self has no limitation in terms of space and time uh, that is what i wanted to ask see the space the uh, self is there at a particular point in this existence okay now mm -hmm. the object of imagination can go anywhere we can also mm -hmm. think of something which is not existent mm -hmm. okay okay so it doesn't mean that you have been there the object mm -hmm. of imagination is there you start thinking of the past you start thinking of the future you start thinking about mm -hmm. some other corner of the world it's not mm -hmm. that you have been there mm -hmm. that thing is there in your imagination that is fine okay so that's a part of your imagination but yes, your... yes. thank you Yes. Am I audible, Bhaiya? Yeah, audible. Okay, so Namaste, Bhaiya. Uh, my no, question okay. is, what uh, the what the conscious unit exists after the body? That means even if uh, after my death, the body, uh, the self exists. Yes. Yeah. Then in that case, uh, then is that rebirth is possible? Uh, the body. That is the your choice. Unit? That is your choice. Associating with a body is your choice. Okay. and is it possible that uh, the self will uh, acquire a animal body that is again your choice <laughs> <laughs> okay okay sir okay okay thank you bhaiya hi dr seema i think we have two more minutes left two or three minutes but bhaiya uh, when earlier i asked the question whether after leaving the body the self will continue to have those uh, knowing assuming and recognizing properties it was related to those only that uh, suppose it takes on the self takes on another body so will it recognize and remember the previous you know will it have the memory of all that uh, recognition the knowing will it be there in the next body also 
see a lot of information that is stored in you okay is dependent on the body so you keep on taking some information from the body and that's how you keep on remembering that now you just <laughs> think something that happened 10 years ago do you remember that Partly yeah, so that you get reminded of when you see something similar. Otherwise, you tend to forget it. Mm -hmm. So you met somebody 10 years back. You never met the other person next day, uh, anytime mm -hmm. later. Okay? And then you forget about mm -hmm. it. You are on a railway station, you see so many people, but you don't remember their faces. Mm -hmm. So one thing True. is that if something is not important to you, don't remember. And then something that hmm. reminds you is also not there, then also you don't remember. Hmm. But this knowing True. part, if once ensured, will continue with you. The knowing will be there with you. Because this is so not all of us through UHV. So yeah, that is to say all of us, uh, whoever is coming to a form of self-realization will continue later also. Yeah, Even so when what you, our bodies do not exist. Yeah, so what you achieve in the dimension of realization, in the dimension of right understanding, will continue with you. Mm. Okay, Bia. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Honek Gora. Yes, sir. Namaste. Yes, sir. Hello. Can you yeah, hear? Yeah. Ah. Sir, my question is uh, just like plants and um, other materials. So my body is also coexistence for me, just like other materials. Say it again. So just like other uh, things, for example, plants are there, uh, materials are there, uh, uh, like that. Uh, my body is also uh, coexistence for me. It is something like that. My body is also something that like that plants uh, which are living with me. It is like that. Not very clear. The body, if you see, as we studied, is a unit of bio-order. So it will have the activity, the innateness, the inheritance of the bio-order. Mm. Mm. Hello. So I think it is not time. It is 11.15 now. So we can now move to the next session.